Freight spend has risen substantially over the last few years. For small businesses, navigating the constantly changing freight and logistics market can be quite intimidating, as well as more expensive than you might think, but it doesn't have to be. Here are several steps that any small business should take to make sure they are fostering the most efficient supply and logistics chain as possible. Technology adoption. Technology is important to be able to review and improve your supply chain. If you are not using some form of transportation and shipping software to track freight spend, shipment timing, and warehouse inventory, then this needs to be an immediate priority. Without strong data analytics, it is very hard to create process improvements in your supply chain. Shipment tracking is also critical to your logistics plan because it allows you to quickly and easily let a customer know when an outbound load will arrive, as well as let your warehouse and dock team know when to expect an inbound shipment. Supply-side spend can add up. Many times, companies let their suppliers handle the inbound freight, and the cost of shipping is considered part of the purchase price of what they are providing. This does simplify the process, however, it leaves opportunities on the table for improved efficiency at your own freight docks and in the amount you spend on the inbound freight. Start talking with suppliers and your logistics providers about the costs involved with routing your own inbound freight. If there is a substantial cost savings present, start a trial moving some of your inbound freight, then slowly expand this as your inbound freight processes solidify. Warehouse inventory levels. Inventory holding cost can add up substantially, as can the amount of capital that is tied up in inventory. Technology again can be an immense help. Take a look at the various warehouse and inventory management software tools available. Implementing warehouse management software will provide you the data you need to make appropriate changes. As you analyze data, you might realize it is more efficient and cost-effective to house inventory in smaller quantities at several warehouses instead of keeping it all in one central location. A balance of modes. It is easy to get in the habit of using one mode of transportation for your freight, but this would be overlooking the efficiencies of alternative modes. While many small businesses rely heavily on over-the-road trucking, intermodal is another option that most small businesses do not consider. Intermodal is the process of using a container moved by trucks for first and last mile, then transloading that container onto a railroad for the long haul portion of the trip. When the shipments are longer than five to 800 miles depending on the lane and distance and are not highly expedited in nature, intermodal shipping will have a 10 to 20% cost reduction over long haul trucking. Another advantage to moving a portion of your freight via intermodal is guaranteed capacity. A robust supply chain is built on a diverse group of services and carriers, so if there is an issue in one lane or mode, your business is still able to function. Robust processes. Small businesses don't always emphasize the use and development of processes throughout their business. Process development, particularly with logistics, can be critical though when the inevitable issue arises. The most basic way to build a logistics process is to simply document each step you take for both inbound and outbound logistics. Periodically review these processes with the data you collect from step one. Doing so, you will be able to continually improve your supply chain and freight movements. Try implementing these five top logistics hacks for small businesses and let us know how it goes. Look for more videos and updates coming from Zmodal very soon.